Tires, welcome to another episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk, brought to you by Angler Made. Today we're going to tie a really cool fly I call the Drowning Caddis. Most of the time when trout are feeding, they're feeding underneath the surface. I was told when I first started fly fishing that for every trout, one trout you see eat a bug off the top, there's nine of them eating bugs off the bottom or subsurface. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie our black monocord onto the hook and we're going to go all the way down pretty deep to where this starts to curve straight down and then I just lay my monocord off the back side of my rotary vise. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some just latex. And this is cut in about an eighth of an inch strip. And I secure it on and then I pull it back and stretch it so that I can get the proper taper on this fly. Once I get down to my black thread, I'm going to give myself three wraps behind it. Then we'll go to the front. On this fly, I leave a lot extra for my head. and You'll see why here in a minute. Okay, now I pull my latex and I stretch it nice and tight because I want to get my taper right. But then as I get closer to the top, I'm going to stretch it less so that my body gets a little bit thicker. Go to that point. Oops. Okay, one trick I found is when you cut latex, stretch it and cut it, then it sucks it down nice and tight. Okay. So now you see I got a really nice looking caddis body. I'm now going to tie, whip finish this off just so it's out of my way. And now I'm going to take my black thread and I'm going to rib this fly with the black thread so I get some good defined ribs in the fly. And you can see I try to wrap just over the top of it of each segment so that I have a nice rib fly. Okay, we'll tie that off. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brown marker. You can use olive if you're, you want to do more olive caddis. This one's going to be a tan caddis. There's a tan caddis hatch that comes off early spring. And what I do is I just color the sides and the top, and I leave the bottom the natural color. And then what I do is we're going to get some UV glue. I actually start on the bottom and I just do the very back side of this. And you can see by using the UV glue I get a really nice looking body on the fly. Just a little bit right here. Okay, we'll hit that with the light. The UV glue does, does two things. It makes your bodies look nice and natural, and it also adds quite a bit of strength to your flies. So there we have the UV glue body over the top of the latex. Okay. 
Now we're going to put our tan thread. I'm using a pretty thin, it's a dot unithread because there's a lot of thread that goes into these. Um, okay, now I'm going to use a wing material and I call it web wing. You can see it's really strong. Um, you can get it I think River's Edge makes a product like it, Wopsy does. Um, but it's just wing material. And then what I do is I use a wing burner. And I just put the material in there, get a cigarette lighter, and burn my wings so they're all uniform. Or you can cut them. It's all preference. So now what we're going to do, is we're going to take our wing and I'm going to go to where I'm not quite all the way in the back. I'll put on my first side. Then I'll get my other side. Do the same thing. Okay, so these set really nice. One thing you can do is kind of do a figure eight in between if you'd like, just to separate them a little better. Just to where it does what you want it to do. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Grizzly Hackle And we're just going to use a little bit on this just to give it a little bit of life. Probably three or four wraps is all. Okay. And one trick I found so I don't get a lot of hackle fibers in my eye of the hook is before I cut my hackle I'll actually pull everything back and then I'll cut my excess hackle off like so Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to whip finish this little caddis. Okay, and then what I like to do, just a little trick, is I hate it when I'm on the water and I have to worry about cleaning the eye of my hook. So a lot of times I'll flip my fly over real quick and I'll just dab a little bit of glue here. That way the glue is flowing down and not into the eye of my hook. so you can see the finished product. So there we have our perfect little caddis body with the wings, a little bit of grizzly hackle, and this fly fish is subsurface and so like I said at the beginning of the video most of the time for every time a, a trout sips off the surface once he's sipping nine other times subsurface so I'll usually put like a royal wolf or <coughs> even a hopper pattern and then I'll drift this 12 to 18 inches um, behind it and that way your, your dry fly, we call it a dry dropper rig, 
that way your dry fly axis your strike indicator and they gobble these things up so this the drowned caddis proven effective to catch lots of trout thank you for watching this episode of Aaron's uh, flight-esque on the Angler Bay channel and we hope to see you on the water sometime <laughs>